What's going on, Jerome's Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk. And we've relayed this story before, like way back in the day, uh, when Blackberries were a thing. When uh, when I, I bought my first Blackberry, I made sure that ProFootballTalk.com uh, was, was readable uh, on the Blackberry. I love the physical keyboard. It's good stuff, man. But I love and respect his work, but disagree with Florio frequently. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, this is America. Uh, and Florio... Uh, noted longtime suffering Vikings fan, f- fully understand that. But is there any duo on na- on the national media that is more wrong than Florio a- a- and Chris Sims, son of Boomer Esiason, on a consistent basis? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Of course, you know, Florio and PA go way back like chiropractic. That- that's not a thermos. But Florio, he did again. So, uh, recent piece came up today. Do the Vikings want to keep Kirk Cousins? If so, it's time to get a deal done. Now, I, you know, Florio is a lawyer by trade, and he knows how negotiations work, but I think that he is just off base on this one. So, this is where I wrote. Six years ago, blah, 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 blah. Cousins, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'll say this. If the Vikings want to keep Cousins, they are not going about it the right way. Hmm. Uh, now, there's a chance they don't want to keep him. There's a chance they want to create the impression that uh, that he chose to leave, uh, that it wasn't their call to not pay 45 million per year or thereabouts uh, to a quarterback who turns 36 in August and who's recovering from a torn Achilles tendon. If that's a strategy, they're handling it perfectly. But if they actually, actually want him, the strategy seems to be that they want to see what others will pay before making the move. If that's the case, it's a very bad strategy. Uh, everyone wants to feel wanted and valued. Cousins, by all appearances, would like to stay. But if the Vikings aren't doing the, the things that would make him and his family feel wanted, uh, giving Cousins and his family a chance to feel more wanted elsewhere uh, could prompt Cousins to choose a new team over the Vikings. So it's like, uh, I value loyalty. Uh, I am loyal to wherever they pay for loyalty the most. And it's like, I mean, the Vikings and the great state of Minnesota have done everything to make uh, the, the Cousins and, and the family feel welcome here. I mean, beyond the whole 84 million, 66 million, 35 million, all that stuff. Mm. Uh, it could also potentially cause Cousins to take a little less to go elsewhere, potentially just to make a point. I I, I don't see that. Uh, if Cousins leaves, it will be for more money, straight up. Uh, really, who would want, uh, who did, blah, 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 blah. Uh, We'll defer to another post of uh, Cousins' assassinations. For now, uh, this is about whether the Vikings take advantage of the waning days that they had started to keep him. If they truly want to keep him, they need to make him an offer he won't refuse. Uh, ASAFP. So, it's interesting. So it, it seems like Florio is all in on keeping Kirk, but he's been very critical of Kirk uh, in, in past years, as uh, frankly a lot of Vikings fans have as well. And I, I think Florio's uh, incorrect on this one, where Kirk, I mean, Kirk has this reputation for being a money grubbing mercenary. It's exactly what happened with his three year, eighty four million dollar deal with the Vikings. Uh, that's what happened when his with his subsequent uh, uh, re signing for the two year deal and also the one year band aid deal. And I, I think with Quasi and ownership. I, I don't think that their strategy has changed since last offseason when it was reportedly the Vikings were down to clown for another one-year Band-Aid deal through 2024, uh, but Cousins and his camp were looking for multiple years uh, you know, through at least 2025. So I, I don't think that stance has changed. And I, I, I think the Vikings are in a spot where they're very nebulous uh, about what they want. Like, yes, they could just go in and blow the doors off the roof with Cousins. Like, all right, all right, buddy, buddy boy, three years – and we'll give you 150 million uh, million fully guaranteed. Like that would be done finito. But I, I don't think that the Vikings want to do that. I, I think the Vikings uh, uh, fully understand that Kirk is a, an asset that could fall off at any time. He could potentially pull a Matt Ryan or you know Cousins. I mean, yes, he's coming off the Achilles. I mean, could Cousins play till he's 40 at a high level? Sure. I mean, Brady did, did it till he's 45. Kirk takes care of his body. Kirk does everything right. Uh, but you want to hedge and protect yourself and you only want to be paying significant money and significant guarantees where you know the guy is going to be good to go like what if what if the Vikings sign Kirk to a three-year fully guaranteed deal and his play falls off a, a cliff next year you're saddled w- with two full seasons uh, of guaranteed money and you're basically like the Broncos of Russell Wilson right now you know just trying to get rid of him so I fully understand uh, the Vikings, they want to take care of Kirk, and also they want to protect themselves uh, as well. And you know, with Kirk, I feel like he's worked very hard to shake the whole you know mercenary thing. And I think the last couple of years, he's really endeared himself uh, to Vikings fans and also uh, uh, football fans writ large. Is that, oh, hey, 
he's the lovable family guy. You love seeing him on the Netflix. He doesn't take himself too seriously. He's got jokes and all that stuff. But if Kirk leaves for a few nickels more, he goes back to being the bloodthirsty mercenary. And that's exactly what it is. And I, I do think that Kirk realized that his best chance to win a Super Bowl, maybe outside of signing with San Francisco, is here with the Vikings. Uh, he could go get paid with the Falcons, sure. I mean, yeah, his wife is from Georgia, blah, blah, all, all those tired narratives. And also Pittsburgh, whatever. New England, whatever. Like, yeah, he could go find himself an, another payday. But would his image take a hit? Yes. Uh, I, I think it certainly would, and the Vikings uh, would have that leverage there. So I, I think it's smart what the Vikings are doing because just reading the tea leaves right now, it feels like the Vikings, like they have maybe maybe it's not a firm offer, maybe it's just an offer uh, in theory where it's like, hey, Kirko, we want you back, but it, it's X number of years, maybe maximum two, X X number of dollars, maybe maximum forty per year, and if you can get more than that. God bless you. We'll see you later. It's been real. It's been fun. It hasn't been real fun, right? And I think that's the line of demarcation. And I think that the Vikings actually want Kirk to hit the market because, again, their leverage is in public perception. Their leverage is, hey, if Kirk leaves, he's that money grabbing mercenary again. And I think that public opinion, which Kirk has worked really hard the last couple of years to uh, go in his favor, I think that flips. I, I think it's over. I think it's finito. And I think the Vikings actually want to see. Uh, I want Kirk to see is like, hey, how much are the Falcons willing to pay? How much are the uh, the the, uh, the Patriots, the the Niners, maybe even? How much the Steelers willing to pay? And Kirk is going to have to decide. Is like, hey, is it worth leaving and leaving everything that we built up? And I am like the leader of this locker room. This entire locker room and organization loves me. Justin freaking Jefferson loves me. Is that is it going to be worth a couple million extra bucks? just to leave and completely start over with a new locker room, new staff, new everything. And right? so I, I think that's you know, the Vikings leverage point uh, at this uh, at this juncture. And w with Kirk, I actually believe him when he talks about it's like, hey, it's not all about the money. I think it really is about the uh, about the years and having guarantees. So uh, de facto, you'll be on the roster in 2025, 2026, uh, et cetera. But I think the Vikings... I don't think the Vikings want to do that. I think we're at the same impasse we were last year, where the Vikings want a one-year deal, or maybe two, and Kirk wants a three-year deal, maybe two. Maybe something will, will get worked out. But the Vikings, I mean, if Kirk leaves, I mean, yeah, it, it would be great to know if he leaves sooner rather than later, or if he's going to be back sooner rather than later, because the Vikings, uh, they have options. And like, if Kirk leaves, it's certainly not the end of the world. That 28-5 comes dead on, on the board year cap, but that's already baked into the salary cap anyway. But the Vikings can get themselves a veteran bridge quarterback. They can maneuver, find their quarterback of the future. So all is not lost. So I uh, actually, you know, Quasey has gotten a lot of flack from Vikings fans, and you know, sometimes it's legit, sometimes it's not. But I, I, I actually, I, I, after thinking about it for a long time, I understand the tact with Kirk Cousins. I, I, I do think it was an unforced error that the Vikings can't tag him, but that's beside the point. Uh, but I, I, I do think that. The, their stance right now is what's best for the team long term, and I, I think that they do have leverage in this spot in the court of public opinion. And it, we'll see what happens with Kirk. Like, yeah, you know, may, maybe Kirk will, will get a, an absolutely ludicrous offer, like, like a four-year, hundred sixty million dollar deal, fully guaranteed from Hotlanta or something. And if he can get that, he can get that. I mean, hats off to him. Uh, it, it's going to be great, but it's going to be an interesting couple couple of weeks. But. I, I don't agree you know, with Florio's stance like, oh, j just overpay him ver versus seeing what the market will bear. Just get it taken care of. Nah, 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 nah. I, I think the Vikings are fine. Uh, I think the Vikings are pl uh, playing their, their position and leverage very well here with Kirk. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll, we'll see if one of those other teams just want to throw stupid money uh, at number eight. But your thoughts are thoughts. Florio wrong again about uh, Kirk Wood, Jerome, Ezekiel Cousins and company. Nah. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Vedma. But to next time, Skull Production Value.